शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन हंड्रेड वर्ड्स पर मिनट सेवन मिनट्स फाइव सेकेंड्स नाउ राइट अप मिस्टर डेप्यूटी स्पीकर फ्रॉम द नोट अटैच्ड टू द सप्लीमेंट्री डिमांड्स इट सीम्स टू मी दैट द पर्पज ऑफ द flying spread is to check the evasion of motor vehicle tax i hope and trust that the scope of work of this squad will be extended to checking evasion of rules particularly with regard to overcrowding in buses at present there is too much overcrowding i think this is the due to the monopoly in bus routes it seems that this is not considered an abuse but as a pri- privilege conferred on monopoly bus routes this is resulted in many road accidents in recent times so i would like the flying squad also to check overcrowding which causes accidents i would like to point out that there is a demand for running more buses on the roads as a matter of fact it is difficult to get a permit as far as i can see the remedy is to run more buses on the same route in this connection i want to bring to the notice of the house that the plying of buses has become a monopoly trade now i want to know why in this trade competition should not be allowed if the government are not prepared to do that i suggest that more buses may be put on the roads so that accidents may be prevented and more facilities may be provided to the traveling public unless we end this monopoly it may not be possible to avoid accidents and inconvenience to the passengers there was a time when we said that individual bus owners should be preferred to fleet owners but this policy was changed and fleet owners were preferred to individual owners as a result individual owners have one or two buses sold their buses at a low price and those who had the money to purchase a number of buses got the monopoly of certain rules on this occasion i would suggest that no monopoly should be allowed in any particular routes as far as possible there must be at least a minimum of three operators in each route so that the general public may be able to have better travel facilities another point that i wish to bring to the notice of the honorable minister is this if in future private enterprise is to be allowed in this trade no one should be allowed to own more than 5 buses the government have said that a new permits should not be given to one who owns more than 3 buses i suggest that the maximum should be enforced not only with regard to new comers but with regard to people who are already there it is the duty of the government to see 
that the rights of the public are protected properly. I have already referred to the evil of overcrowding. The greatest evil is speed in driving lorries. It is these lorry and bus drivers who are responsible for many road accidents. Letter from Krishna and Company, Mumbai to Thiru or Gopalam, Chennai. Dear Sir, we thank you for your letter of the 10th May. We are sorry to hear of the trouble you are having with our water pump which you recently bought from our Chennai agents. We assure you that the performance of our water pump is guaranteed and we want you to feel that we always stand by our guarantee. So we have instructed our Chennai agents to send their engineer as soon as possible to inspect your pump. As our pumps are well tested, before they leave the factory, <coughs> we believe that the trouble you are having may be due to some fault in the installation of the pump. However, the engineer will find the cause of the present trouble and give you the necessary advice. If the funds that some parts of the pump are defective, we shall replace them at our cost. We consider you as an esteemed user of our water pump. So we shall consider it a favor if after the engineer solves the difficulty, you send us a letter expressing your pleasure that the pump is working to your entire satisfaction. Yours faithfully.